Got some new stuff in here. Man, this thing is awesome right here. Huge. I didn't realize that it was a big version. This thing is sick. Real awesome. I'm digging this one right here. And they got the group exclusive with candy. I like this one right here, Scorpion. I like this one. All right, let's check out FYE. Look, ET. Here's some of the stuff they got here at FYE. Oh, I want this one. Chris Jericho, you made the list. Demogorgon. Got basically the same old stuff here. Few inches later. At Target. Whoa, mama. <laughs> we found a chase in the wild. Wow. Awesome. Always when you don't expect it. What a great feeling. They got this exclusive too, which looks super sick. Definitely picking this one up right here. They got a ton of stuff today. It's crazy. I'm scoring. They got this exclusive right here too. Got a bunch of stuff and on this cart right here. Ooh, hello. Score. Oh yeah, we just scored, man. Wow. Just got another chase. Gotta look at these cards, man. When you see these boxes, always gotta run through them. Few moments later. All right, so we are at the Casa. And as you can see, we picked up a ton of Funko Pops. I totally was not expecting on buying all this, but this is basically how it goes down. I mean, <laughs> I've been having a lot of luck lately getting these exclusives. And we got a whole bunch today. We've got the 8-bit Stranger Thing line. I didn't buy them all. I didn't get Lucas or Mike because I want to get them in their Ghostbuster outfits. I feel like that was such a great scene and I want to get those. And Dustin, I'm basically collecting all the Dustins because he's one of my favorite characters. This is the first time he got the Demogorgon. I got the standard version and the Chase edition. I had to get both of them. I don't own any of the Demogorgons. I think the whole 8-bit vibe is fun. You know, I grew up with Super Nintendo, or even Nintendo, like the NES. So, like, so I, I really dig the whole 8-bit vibe. The only thing I am already expecting is the quality of the paint to be terrible. When I've gone through some of the other ones, like this 8-bit Batman, the paint was just horrendous. And you would think it would be easier... For them to paint something like this, because it's really just flat surfaces throughout the whole thing, really. There's not, like, a whole lot going on. It's just, like, bricked up. So, you would think it would be easier, but it is, but it seems to not be. And I would say my favorites out of them on this 8-bit series, definitely Dustin is awesome. And I like the Demogorgons. I like, I like them all, to be honest with you. Eleven is awesome. Uh, the Demogorgon, I really want the Chase Edition with the face shut. I just feel like with the face open, it's just not an intimidating creature. It looks like a flower, you know, but when the face is shut, it looks more intimidating. I'm going to do detailed reviews over at Dell's Toy Show. If you're not subscribed there, make sure to subscribe there. But uh, this is just some of the stuff that I got at Target. I also got Jack from 
The Shining. I cannot believe I got them, but I guess they did a restock on The Shining, and they had Jack. They had him. The Chase. So this was pretty awesome. A lot of people's favorite Chase of all times. This is up there. Very sought after. So um, I'm happy to get it just because I really dig this one. I like horror movies. I'm into them. So I was happy to score that. And I got this Five Nights at Freddy Dark Spring Trap, which is crazy detailed i mean it looks just wicked really really dig this one i mean these are like pieces of art to me especially the five nights at freddy's like they just they are sculpted so awesomely if that's even a word like <laughs> awesomely like you see how like the face is like peeled off and you see like the skeleton like robotic skeleton inside uh they're just super cool so I do collect them. I just feel like they're really put together in such a great way. So I picked this one up because I thought it was super badass. And then I got the last one I got in the mail today. And this is still available now. So head over. I'll put a link in the description box below. They keep taking it off the site then on the site like every couple of hours. But this Stan Lee Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pop is actually available and a lot of people have been trying to hunt this down so as i said i will put information in the description box below i think this is a must have if you're a fan of comic books if you're a fan of the marvel movies super dope and they're coming out with a whole bunch of stan lee like cameos from all the movies that you see him popping up in and uh, i think it's really cool let me see right here. Oh no, this is just other Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. But yeah, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of other ones that will be coming out. And I will be looking forward to that. So I will put that info in the description box below to help you out. As far as these Funko Pops, I don't think they're available online yet. If they are, I will update that in the description but um, head over to your Target like today because they are at Target. So go there. If you don't see them displayed, look for one of those boxes around the section. You know, they're usually in the electronics section. And hopefully you'll be able to score what you want to get. As I said, like Dustin is my favorite out of them. I love the way he looks, the details, the outfit. And I really love Eleven, how she even has like those yellow and green socks that she's wearing. Like, it's really, really cool. I, I'm a big fan of this show and I'm happy to have these in my collection. Stay tuned, new giveaway coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed here and make sure you're subscribed at Dell's Toy Show because there will be another giveaway on that channel that's separate from this channel. Now that giveaway will be not for one Funko Pop, but two Funko Pops. So it is a major key for you to get over to that channel, Dell's Toy Show, because you will have the opportunity to win the next giveaway. And on top of that, I take these Funko Pops out of the box and actually review them. So you get to see detailed, honest looks of these pops. And a lot of people don't like taking them out of the box. You know, they're collector items. So I understand the whole deal. But I will take them out the box for you guys and show you how they are looking detailed wise. Much love. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video, please. Helps out my channel so much. And we got my Sneaker Attic t-shirts 50% off. Not 50, I'm sorry. I wish it was 50. 20% off my Sneaker Attic t-shirts are on sale for Black Friday. Use the code Black Friday. I'll put a link in the description box below. The same people that make those awesome Bullet Club t-shirts make my t-shirts. So make sure to pick one up. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts on everything I picked up today. And we are out. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Forgot about that. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family, your friends, and we out of here.